Hey YouTubers, um, not your typical setting for uh, blued versus stainless. I wish I had a stainless to compare it to right here in front of you, although I have personally felt both of them. And I can tell you the blued GP100 versus the stainless steel GP100 is quite a bit thinner and it honestly it feels lighter and I'll, I'll get into the details as to why here in a minute but um, if anyone out there wanted to um, weigh their four inch stainless steel I'd be curious to know how much more if at all the stainless steel weighs but I can tell you the dimensions wise the blued is by far it's thinner and we'll get into the why it's thinner um, it just doesn't have as much steel it doesn't take as much carbon steel to withstand the 357 power as your stainless steel um, anyway so there's what it weighs emptied two pounds 7.7 .7 ounces so 39.7 ounces um, what it comes down to is you, blued metal is well this blued metal is your high carbon steel and why the heart and stainless is a they're both alloys but stainless is a um probably a uh um chrome or nickel depending on which one it is i'm not sure which the um Ruger is I'll be honest but the stainless steel will be a chrome or a nickel alloy and what that means though um, is the difference between the two so this is the um, iron atoms basically it's an interstitial alloy and what it means is the carbon atoms are quite a bit smaller than your iron atoms and so the relative strength of the iron is not compromised in fact it's actually um, bound tighter with the carbon atoms added than it would be with just regular um, iron atoms uh, or pure iron uh, but to make a stainless steel they add um, so coming over here depending on the stainless steel so you're looking at 14 to 18 percent chrome or seven to nine percent nickel or a combination of both um, but if you look at the uh, uses so you know it's basically corrosion resistant but it's also a weaker steel uh, there's, there's no arguing that it stainless steel is weaker than your high carbon steel so uh, for instance let's see uh, this doesn't yeah, this one doesn't have your carbon, your high carbon steels on there. Um, but if you, you want to make a, um, most of your drill bits, your machining tools will be a high carbon steel. The problem, and we, you'll see a lot of that uh, debate between the blued versus the stainless, is uh, most people think, well, the blue is just a, another one myth i hate seeing out there on the net is blued is just a a premature rusting of the metal not true uh it is an oxidation it is a premature oxidation of the metal but oxidation and rusting are two different things uh blued steel the very outer layer of the steel is converted to fe204 um versus your rust, which is FO2, um, FeO2, so your uh, iron oxide versus your, uh, I'm not sure what the name, the, your, basically your uh, black carbon. Um, so it, it, chemically it is different, but what the net effect is that the the outer layer of the blued pistol 
is corrosion res resistant and that the iron has already been oxide to a different state. Um, let's see here. What else did I want to say? Oh, another thing is uh, talk about the oils on your hand rust the metal. It's not the oils on your hand that rust. It's the salts on your hand that rust the metal. So end point being, you still have to oil it so it doesn't rust. But the point being is oil from your hand will not rust the uh will not rust it's the salts uh in order to rust metal you need the metal you need water and you need uh, oxygen and at some point if you have a catalyst i.e your salt on your hands it will actually perform the chemical reaction at a faster rate much faster rate so uh, if your hands are sweaty that's typically where you start seeing the rust. Um, this has been my field gun for quite some time and been in many a rainstorms. And you know, honestly, it, it doesn't rust very easy. In fact, I have yet, uh, even after a couple days of being out in the woods and coming in without um, having field cleaned it every night, I've yet to see any rust on this. Uh, as the bluing fades, uh, it is possible that the rust will come out easier, will occur easier, but at this state with a nice blued finish, you're not gonna have any problems. Also, your inner mechanisms are stainless because they don't need to be the high tension or high um, pressure resistance as the barrel and the chamber need to be. Um, if you have a Ruger four inch or Ruger GP 100 four inch, uh, in its na natural state, I should say, um, then please post it. I'd be very curious to know what the actual weight difference between the two is. I know there is a significant size difference between the two. The other thing is the... Uh, high carbon steel just has a much higher resistance to internal wear. The It's a stronger steel, so your um, magnum charge is not going to wear out the pistol as fast in your blued, which is why it shows the blue um, versus the stainless. I I know myself. I know I can take care of my firearm. I wanted the high powered resistance, which is why I went with blue. And it didn't help that it hurt didn't hurt that it was about uh, $80 less to get the blue versus the stainless. Um, anyway, uh, please feel free to post comments. Any information uh, about the two would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.